Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners and in this tutorial we will create a model of spherical helix with the use of generative shape design in Katia B5. So uh, let us start with a generative shape design and just create this part 1 and now we will create a spherical helix. So for that uh, we need one profile here for the spherical helix. So select this uh, center arc and provide this create this half, half circle over here and you just provide the dimensions. Let us add 150 mm and take a line command. Again, just take this line command over here and provide the dimension to this lines as well. So let us add here uh, 70. So again, uh, change this one and make it 70. And here we'll provide a, a radius. So just select the corner command and select this edges and make it yes similarly create the round and select these two edges and here as well i will provide this uh, 35 and here also just make it to 35 and then exit this workbench so now this base profile is created and just add a new geometrical set and give it a name that is the curves and here there is a helix command so just select the helix, com helix command select the start point over here and select this profile and select the profile so uh, provide the axis over here this is the x uh, this is y axis and add the pitch let's say 15 mm and add this height here so 150 and this 70 plus 70 so uh, total 300 plus 70 is 370 plus 70 so you add here let's say 370 plus 370 sorry 70 and then you can see here the spring profile is created so you can just increase this one so just skip this uh, now and then preview and then click ok so now we will hide this sketch over here and also we'll hide this plane so make this show once again and go to this sweep command and select this and select a center and axis center and radius so select this curve as a center radius and provide this radius let's say 5 make it a preview and you can see here the sweep is created so we'll try to add 10 just make it make it a preview and so it is uh, making a distortion over here so we'll add six here and then just click ok so in this way you can create a spherical spring and we'll go to the mechanical design part design and just select the cloth surface and make this surface close and you can just hide this this one and you can hide this axis also so in this way you can create this spherical springs over here so thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you